a young pitcher is called into his manager's office after a notable performance. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. Get ready for Rockies baseball next. Vaughn Harris is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. Dan, any thoughts? It's not an easy thing to do to pitch as a rookie, but one of the things you have to do is use the positives. The opposing team has never faced you. You can't be afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. Establish your pitches and try to work quickly. Now in the box, Abiatel Avellino, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The afternoon for San Francisco, the second baseman, number 46. Nobody here, nobody. Pitch on the way. Underway ah. now in the Sunday finale as the first the pitch count. today is taken for strike one. These Rockies guys, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, oh, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You oh, cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of the season and ride that 500 line all year at some point you're going to have to take 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 to get this me, going me, in me. the right direction under it to make the catch is Wendell one away so one away here with the bases right empty that and that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Duggar Steven. just Duggar. able to get a piece of that for strike one, one. coming down in buckets Cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, no Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Two down, two down. Into the box now, third. Mike Yastrzemski. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Three, Around three. first, he's digging for second. Cut it, cut it. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Come set, the 0-1. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. 
And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Second inning set to go, and standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. That is it. The shortstop, Brandon. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He enters play here at 288, 11 home runs, and 37 RBIs. Where's the first in? A one pitch on its way. No score here as we play inning number two. And one away, one away. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. Aramis Garcia is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he takes a cold strike, too. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Giants down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Top of the third set to get underway. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Alex Jackson. Alex. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Guys. Swing and a miss. Nope. Good Open. slurve. 0 oh 2 now. Ball. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And the hey. knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Stepping into the box, Johnny Cueto, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Johnny Cueto. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes to One the ball, Giants pitcher. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. So striding forward now, Abiatel Avellino. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ball now one. a breaking ball, but it's low. Ball one, no strike. Kind of a surprise not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two out, nobody on. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Giants are down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. 
Digging in now, Vaughn Harris. He bats here as the reigning rookie of the month in the National League. Harris. First pitch of the at bat. High in the air out to center field. Duggar is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar as we begin the top of the fourth. The center field. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Next to bat for the Giants, Mike hey, Yastrzemski, right one for one as he reached right. base with a double his first time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. Here but I got to go. think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. And he takes this one high, one, one and ball, one. one Up, up, Popped up. up. Arenado is there. Me, 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 me. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Longoria. First pitch of the at bat. Hey! The wind up and the 0 1. Hey, we got two down, fellas. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, come on, guys. No, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Brandon Crawford digging in next. Shortstop. As with Brandon. one away, he can't oh, make contact ball. on the first pitch. It's strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The count now at two and one. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. One away. One away. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and that was his ninth of the Good game. Right if you're striking out one or more inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. Aramis hey. Garcia is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Last half of the fifth coming up. Rockies lead it one to nothing. 
Ready for another chance? Vaughn Harris. Colorado. He flew out in his no last victory. at bat. Vaughn Harris. Come on, big guy, get your pitch, huh? First pitch coming, here it is. Popped him up. Crawford is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Alex Jackson. He'll start things out Maybe in their half of the done. sixth as they look the to right shake things up play. here for a lineup that, Alex. quite frankly, has been yeah, non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? Oh, we'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. There's still a lot of game left in this one. Johnny Cueto. High in the air into shallow left center. Story it, ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Now back to the top of the lineup, right stepping here. in, now Abiatel Avellino. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ballgame, and this one ends the inning. Giants down in order. They're on the short end of a 1 to nothing score. Stepping up to the plate, Steven Duggar. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Now at the plate, Mike Yastrzemski. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. In there, strike one. No runs, just one hit, yeah, one and down. no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Dahl. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now the Giants number four batter Evan Longoria 0 for 2 on his line thus far Longoria laid off the bender there but it's in for a called strike there's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside first here. A ball and two strikes. One and two. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fat. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Now batting, Vaughn Harris. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! A solo shot here to left. Home run number two for him on the year as the Rockies have taken a two to nothing lead. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed.
ready to begin the eighth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Brandon Belt. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Strike one to start the at-bat. Nobody. The wind-up and the 0-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. The batter, number 35. Standing in now, Brandon Crawford. Crawford. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Tapia. Two down. So in now for San Francisco, Aramis Garcia. He was Number retired 16. via the ground ball last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. And and Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's quickly 0-2. Oh, and a good two strike pitch but he misses high one and two well all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three and they weren't far off but I think that was a good call and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side Giants are down one two three they trail it here two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Vaughn Harris. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say he's really earned it. Very rarely, Matt, do you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup in that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any yeah, differently yeah. here. Swing and a ball lifted Make in the turn, air go. toward the line and right. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. The relay. Down, 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 down. The tag, and he hey, is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. Leading off for the time. The right so field. now to the plate, Alex, Alex Jackson. Jackson. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss. No Good slurve. 0 oh and 2 now. Up, up. Here's a pop up now. McMahon has I room got, in I foul got. territory. One away. Wilmer well, Flores please. will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss oh, on the slurve. Strike one. They'll check in Here with an average still south of 230. Seven homers, 26 RBIs. Swing and he pops him up. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Abiatel Avellino. He's their last shot Number here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Here we go, guys. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a miss. That one oh, tied no. him up. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Swing oh, and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. It's a swung up, on up. and popped up. Crossing oh, into oh. foul territory now behind third. 
It brings it in, and the Rockies have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? 5-0 the final score today. The Colorado Rockies took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Vaughn Harris earns his fifth winner of the year as he allows only one hit in nine full innings. Johnny Cueto pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The, the Show. For, for the more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base.